hello everyone so in this session we are going to get familiar with cisco packet tracer interface so like all the standard applications cisco packet tracer also has a menu bar at the top so we have file menu uh, in which we have all the standard options like new open recent files save save as etc we have the standard edit menu and we have options menu in which we have preferences so in preferences we have so many categories uh, generally we don't need to change any of these things so if you want to change you can change and we have the view menu where we have the zoom options zoom in zoom out and zoom reset we can show and hide different toolbars and also we have different uh, Mm, options like simulation mode, real time mode, logical view, physical view, etc. So we are going to explore these uh, four options in a few minutes. And we have the tools menu, extensions menu, and finally the help menu. So I already have shown you this about where you can see the information about the version. So the version I am using is 7.2.x okay right so below the menu bar we have the toolbar so this is the main toolbar where you have uh, shortcut options for new open save print and this one is for network information this is profile and this is activity wizard we have copy paste undo redo uh, zoom in zoom reset zoom out etc etc Okay, so below the main toolbar, we have the sub toolbar uh, where we have the mm, different uh, options that we will use frequently on the workspace. Okay, so first one is select for selecting different things and second one is inspect and then followed by delete and resize uh, and we have something called note where you can write some text. Uh, we will see all these things in a few minutes. Uh, you can draw lines, rectangles, ellipses, and you have the freeform tool where you can draw different shapes as you like. And the data. Okay, so simple PDU and this is the complex PDU. So PDU means simply think of it as some data you are sending from one location to another location. Okay, so that is about the menu bar and the toolbars. And below the uh, sub toolbar or the secondary toolbar, we have the workspace. Okay, so this entire white area. Uh, so this entire white area, this thing is workspace. Okay. So, so in the workspace. Mm, in the top of the workspace and below the workspace we have some buttons so actually uh, when you are dealing with cisco packet tracer we have two views okay so the first one is logical view and the second one is physical view so in logical view we can create all the devices like pcs routers uh, switches etc uh, the networking devices and if you go to the physical view you can see the physical locations so here uh, right here you can see there is something called home city so if you want to create one more city you can click the options so here you can you have create new city so here is the new city okay so if you want to model city to city communication intercity communication you can go like this okay so uh, once you click on the home city or any city you will see the offices okay so here is a corporate office and once again if you click the corporate office uh, you will see the main wiring closet and once you click on the closet uh, here you can have um, things like this container okay or you can create a new rack like this so this is a rack where you have 
uh, different things. So let's zoom out a little bit. So this is the rack, and if you want, you can create a table like this where you can place laptop, some etc. etc. So that is the physical view and logical view. Okay. And at the bottom, you have something called power cycle devices. Uh, we don't use this thing and the next thing also, which is uh, fast forward time. Generally, generally, we don't use these two settings or uh, options. And on the right hand side of the workspace, you have something called real time and simulation. These two are different kinds of modes in which packet tracer can be run. So there is real time mode and the second one is simulation mode. Okay, so right now it is in real time mode. And the second one is simulation mode. So once you click on simulation mode, you can see something called simulation panel. So this uh, window just popped out when I clicked on simulation. So when you click on real time, it will again go out. And again, when you click simulation, it will come again. Um, so we will look at the simulation panel and all these things in a few minutes. So let's go back to real time. And below the workspace here, this, these things are very important. So we have different devices uh, which are grouped into categories. So the top, uh, the top one is categories. And once you click on a category, you will get the subcategories in the below, below space. So the bottom things are subcategories and the above things are main category. Okay, so the first main category is network devices, and in network devices, the first subcategory is routers. Similarly, we have switches. Similarly, hubs, wireless devices. Okay, security where you will have firewalls and all these things, and WAN, WAN emulation devices. Okay, wide area network emulation devices. So if you observe here, when I when I am clicking on a subcategory like routers, you can see all these things being displayed, different kinds of routers. Okay. Similarly, when I click on switches, you can see different kinds of switches. Right? Okay. So the second main category is end devices. So these are the frequently used things in the network simulation uh, tasks. So here you have PCs. Okay, laptop servers, web servers, VoIP devices, smart devices, that is mobile phones, TVs, etc. Okay, so if you see in end devices, the first subcategory is this. Okay, second one is home devices. So here you have IoT devices and you have building, that is smart city devices. And you have industry related devices, and finally, power grid related devices. Okay, so all these four things are IoT related. Okay, so the third main category is components, where you have some kinds of boards as well as actuators and sensors. Right? And the fourth main category, which is very important, it is connections. So we have different types of connections here. Okay. So the first one is uh, automatic connection type. So if you don't know which connection you have to use between two devices, you can go for this automatic connection type. Okay. Second one is console, straight through, uh, crossover cable, fiber, and then we have coaxial cable, octal. Uh, IoT cable and USB USB cable. Okay. And next category is miscellaneous and another one is multi-user category. So that is about a brief introduction to the Cisco Packet Tracer interface. Uh, I think now all of you are familiar with all these uh, things that you are seeing on the screen. Okay. Right. So let's create a small uh, network that is LAN. So I am going for a, a end devices PCs. So just click on PC so you can see this symbol and somewhere on the workspace you click again so you have a PC. Okay. 
now if you see this there is something called uh, pc hyphen pt and also pc0 so this pc hyphen pt is the model number so if you don't want such things to be displayed go to options preferences and here you have the option in the interface um, panel which is show device model labels so if you don't want just uncheck it and click, click on close there you go the model numbers are not being displayed now you can change the name of this pc so let's change it to a okay so let's move it down so again i am clicking pc uh, so this is a second pc uh, let's name it b and again click on pc click again and let's name it c okay now let's connect them together using a switch so in network devices click on switches and the standard switch 2960 so click on the workspace there you have the switch so let's remove the zero and name it switch okay now go to connections so which cable to use between a pc and the switches you have to go for straight through cable okay copper straight through cable so click on the cable uh, choose pc and choose fast ethernet that is the lan uh, lan port and release the connection on switch and you have you can see here the switch has so many ports okay so let's go for one fast ethernet one okay now again click on the link click on b fast ethernet 0 switch fast ethernet 2 again repeat the same thing with pcc okay there you go okay now if you see here on the pc side there is green triangles and on the switch side there is orange or amber uh, circle symbols and now it is changing to green arrow that means the switch is trying to learn about the pcs okay so you can think of it like that or you can think of it like the switch is initializing okay so for initializing it is say, taking some time right now the switch is initialized and the green triangles represent that these things can communicate with each other okay now let's go to simulation panel oh yeah before going to simulation let's assign ip address to each of these uh, pcs so click on pca so you have this uh, options per pc so again you can see different panels physical config desktop programming attributes go to desktop tab and the very first option is our application is ip configuration so let's give the ip address 192.168.1.1 okay let me copy this and uh, the submit mask will be given automatically don't worry so close it I'll do the same thing with b ip configuration but this time let's change the last one to two of course the ip addresses should not be same so close same thing with c desktop ip configuration three okay so just power over pca and you can see some information here it is saying uh, ip address is 192.168.1.1 okay you can check it out like that so for b it is 1.2 and for c it is 1.3 right okay now click on simulation panel okay there you have the simulation panel and now at the top go for uh, add simple pdu that means i am going to send some data from pca to pc c so click it choose the source as a so you can see the symbol of this data and again click on c for destination okay now see here 
in the simulation panel under event list you can see that uh, system a is going to send a icmp packet which is the ping ping packet okay so you can use these symbols so if you click on this play button it will um, go on to the entire process or otherwise if you click on this forward it will go one step ahead so let's click on this so you can see the data went from a to switch and now if i click next aha uh -huh, now you can see so switch is forwarding the data that is received to remaining two pcs b and c okay let's click next now c responded back to the switch okay next now the switch is sending uh the response back to a now a will send the icmp data okay ping ping command data okay so the switch received the ping data from switch uh, from uh, system a pca now it will send to c okay now the c is responding back to the ping command of a so it is sending back to switch now switch will forward to a yeah. okay so that's it so don't worry about this http uh, it is not needed so that's about the simulation mode where you can uh, send the data and you can see each and every event step by step or at a stretch as you wish so coming back to real time mode and here okay i would also like to mention there is one more panel at the bottom right so if you click this arrow to the left you will see that there is um, the simulation uh, thing we have done just now so i have sent uh, an icmp packet from source a to destination c now if you want to delete this simulation you can select that and click on delete now it's gone okay so that's it for this session so i hope you guys understood all the other things in the interface and also how to perform simulation that's it thank you